I'm Rebecca Shannon. I'm 35 year old married mother of two. I've got two boys. Um, I'm originally from Wales but moved to Torquay when I was six years old. Um, my mother was a manager of the hotel, Babcombe Cliff Hotel at the top of the hill there. So um, that's where Oscar Wilde used to live and I spent my childhood years being a feral child round Babacombe Beach. So I am a personal trainer, I have my own fitness classes and I am a sports massage therapist. Um, it's a relatively new career for me. Um, after having my second child, Jimmy, um, I had um, problems with my pelvis and ended up practically disabled by the end of the pregnancy and gained a lot of weight. Um, I suffered horrifically with depression and anxiety. I couldn't leave the house. It was just a real low point for me. It was awful. Very happy about having my son and he was healthy, but left me in a bit of a state after. So having postnatal depression was the lowest part of my life, without a doubt. It, it was a real confusing time. Um, everybody just expects you to, to be happy and you know everyone's coming around and celebrating this lovely, healthy boy that I had and they didn't know that my whole world was just crumbling. I was just losing, well, I lost who I was. I, I lost everything. Um, I went from being me, bubbly, friendly, to a shell of who I who I was. I, I was I couldn't look people in the eye. I I couldn't leave the house. I just the thought of leaving the house filled me with such anxiety. Um, I was no fun for the kids when I did go out. I was no fun for the people who I was with. And when I didn't leave the house, I was then left with this overwhelming emptiness, this depression that I'm leaving my children. I'm, I'm letting my children down that they deserve more than me, they should be out having fun, and I wasn't providing that for them. Um, I felt that I left my, let my husband down, that we should have been um, rejoicing in, in our beautiful, healthy family, but I wasn't there, I, I wasn't me. Anyway, as I said, my friend helped me. She um, gave me the courage to join the gym, and she, um, told me that she didn't want me being a fat bride actually <laughs> pay for me to do a challenge um, and the weight came off and bit by bit I started finding myself and I came off my uh, medication that I was on and um, yeah I started finding myself and I never thought for a second that these years later that I would completely changed my career, that me, I would be a personal trainer, a fitness instructor, a sports therapist, and join a university to do sports exercise science. I'm now helping people, and I can see them, myself in them, when I train certain people, you know, these overweight girls that are afraid that people are looking at them, you know, I'm helping them now. I'm Everything happens for a reason. I was sent to my lowest point of my life I think to help others um, and I think that's what I'm doing now. I genuinely think that's what I'm doing.